Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In today video I will show you how to interface LED with PIC 16 F877 microcontroller. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. LED. LED stands for light emitting diode. The LED is a PN junction diode which emits light when an electric current passes through in the forward direction. In the LED, the recombination of the charge carrier takes place. The electron from the N side and the hole from the P side are combined and gives the energy in the form of light. The LED is made of colorless semiconductor material, and the light is radiated through the junction of the diode. LEDs are available in different colors shapes and sizes. As you can see in the following diagram. How to interface LED with microcontroller. The LED can be interfaced with a microcontroller output port in two different modes. Current sinking mode and Current sourcing mode Current sinking mode In current sinking mode the anode leg of the LED is connected to the plus 5 volt supply through a current limiting resistor, and the cathode leg is connected to the microcontroller output port. The LED is turned on when the output of the microcontroller is at logic zero so the current flows through the LED. As you can see in the following diagram. The cathode leg is connected to the microcontroller output pin and anode leg is connected with plus 5 volt through a current limiting resistor. How to find the value of resistor. The voltage drop across an LED varies between 1.4 volts to 2.5 volt with a typical value of 2 volt. The brightness of the LED depends on the current through the LED, and this current can vary between 8 to 16 mA, with a typical value of 10 mA. Assuming the microcontroller output voltage is about 0.4 volt when the output is low, we can calculate the value of the required resistor as follows. R equals Vs. Subtract. V LED. Subtract. VL divide by I LED if VS is 5 volt subtract V LED is 2 volt subtract and VL 0.4 volt divide by I LED is 10 milliampere then the value of the resistor is 260 ohm we can use the nearest available resistor from 250 ohm to 270 ohm where VS is the supply voltage 5 volt VLED is the voltage drop across the LED 2 volt VL is the maximum output voltage when the output port is low 0.4 volt ILED is the current through the LED 10 mA Current sourcing mode. In current sourcing mode the anode leg of the LED is connected to the microcontroller output port and the cathode leg is connected to the ground through a current limiting resistor. In this mode the LED is turned on when the microcontroller output port is at logic 1, plus 5 volt. As you can see in the following diagram. The anode leg is connected with a microcontroller and cathode leg is connected to the ground through a current limiting resistor. How to find the value of resistor. The output voltage of the microcontroller pin is about 4.85 volt and the value of the resistor can be determined as R equals VO subtract V LED divide by I LED if VO is 4.85 volt subtract V LED is 2 volt divide by I LED is 10 mA. Then the value of the resistor is 285 ohm. We can use the nearest available resistor. From 275 ohm to 300 ohm. Where VO is the output voltage of the microcontroller port when at logic 1, plus 4.85 volt. V LED is the voltage drop across the LED, 2 volt. I LED is the current through the LED, 10 mA. Project, how to interface LED. 
In this project LED is connected to port DRD0 pin of a PIC16F877 microcontroller and we are using the current syncing mode of the LED. Microcontroller is operated from an 8 MHz crystal. When power is applied to the microcontroller, or when the microcontroller is reset, the LED get turned on. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC16F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. Pin RD0 is interface with LED and we are using current syncing mode of the LED. The value of the resistor is 260 ohm. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are interface with an 8 MHz crystal and 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus. Circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro C. Open the micro C for pick. Click on new project. Select standard project. Next. Write project name. Select folder where you want to save the project. I will recommend you always create new folder for each project. Select device. I am using PIC16F877 microcontroller. Select device clock frequency. In my project I am using 8 MHz crystal. Next. If you want to add any existing file please select file but I am not adding any file. Finish. From this window you can select the bit configuration. Select. HS oscillator. Watchdog timer. Disable. Power up timer. Disable. Flash program memory code protection. Disable. Brown out reset. Enable. Low voltage in circuit serial programming. Disable. Data EE memory code protection. Disable. Flash program memory write enable. Enable. In circuit debugger mode. Disable. MCU name. PIC 16F877. MCU clock frequency. 8 MHz. General output settings. If you want to change any setting you can change from here and hit apply. But I will use the default. OK. Here is the window where you can write the code. Void main. It is main function of the C language. And in these brackets we will write the code. TRISDRD0 equals 0. Semicolon. 
This instruction set port D pin 0 as output pin. Semicolon tell the compiler that instruction is terminated. Port DRD0 equals 0 it will clear the port D pin mean turn on the LED. Because we are using current syncing mode of the LED. While, 1, stay here. After turn on the LED microcontroller will stay here. Now we will create a hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Change clock frequency. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. You can see LED is turned on whenever we reset the microcontroller LED get turned on. Thanks for watching please subscribe the Star Technology 5G. Please keep watching Star Technology 5G.